Welcome back to Nerd Chic. Thank you guys for joining us today. Today I'm going to set up my Windows 10 Lenovo IdeaPad 3 17 inch. This guy has an AMD Ryzen 5, AMD Radeon graphics, it has Dolby Audio, and everything else. It is really cool. It's the regular IdeaPad, it's not the slim and it's high end. This is going to become my gaming laptop. And so, anyways, I'm super excited because you'll see that in Nurture Gaming. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. Yep, here we go. So now a let's sign in here, a touch of Wi Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So, we're going to jump into setting Use it up. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I'm going to have her be quiet. So there's assistant screen reader, you can use all of this, and then it's got everything you need. It's wanting to listen to me do this, but I'm gonna actually do it myself. I'm gonna set this up, pick my region the correct way. Yes, that's the correct. Um, nope, I'm gonna skip an extra keyboard at the moment. I will add one later. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi, and you can see it's really long. All right, click Next. There it goes, it should connect to my Wi-Fi now. And now it's connected and it says, all I have to do is connect the internet really to finish it up, click Next. So let's see how this thing sets itself up. Now we have some important setup to do. Well, let's see what important setup you got to do, Cortana. All right, it may take a minute to do this. I think what I'm gonna do is pause this right here and I'll bring you back in just a minute. We're gonna keep setting this thing up. Okay, now it's saying, let's see what's new from Windows. It's been, you've seen about two minutes of this setup and it had actually uh, about three minutes that I cut right there. There's the agreement, I'm done with that. And then I may stop this again, so this is not naturally as long as it is. It says to set up my email, phone, or account. I'm gonna pause this here because I don't wanna put that out here on this video. So I'll be right back after I get this added. I added my account and now it's logged in and it's starting to go online and do everything it needs to do. Now here we are, we're gonna choose our privacy settings. And so you guys know me in privacy, I like to have things a little bit more private. So do I really want to send voice data to Microsoft? I'll tell you honestly, I don't send voice data to Microsoft. I don't send voice data to Amazon. I don't send voice data to um, Apple. So I'm gonna say no. And it says find my device. Turn on find my device and use your device's location data to help you find your device if you lose it. You must sign into Windows with your Microsoft account to use this feature. I'm gonna say yes, that's always good. Then it says location-based experience like directions and weather. Do I want them to know my location? Not right now. Diagnostic data, no. I only want basic to go. Tailored experiences, do I want them to watch what I'm doing so they can tailor? No. Send inking and typing data to Microsoft to improve the language recognition, no. Advertising IDs, look, no. I don't want them to track me, okay? So that's me turning off all my, my stuff. The only one I left was my Find My Device, um, and that's directly related to my Microsoft account, and so I left it, except now it's gonna do this. I think that's nice. Do more across devices with activity history. If you want timeline and other Windows features to help you continue what you're doing, even when you switch devices, send Microsoft your activity history, which includes your info about websites, whatever. I don't do this, so I wouldn't do it. That's it's privacy stuff, right? Get instant access to your Android phones, photos, text, notifications, and more. I'm not going to do that. I don't want them to have that, and um, I'm just not going to do it. So now we're going to go on to here. If I were wanting more of the business connection, I would. Do I want to allow Cortana to do this? I don't do it with Alexa, uh, Siri, or anybody else, so no, not right now. And then it says to protect this device. So Add this device to your Lenovo ID profile for faster support, important updates, and whatever. You should do that, but I'm not going to do it now because I don't have a Lenovo set up at this point. All right. So it says it needs to do this. Looking forward to helping out. Almost done. 
Let's see what happens now. We're so close. Hi. I think we're almost there, guys. It's taking a little bit, but we're getting there. We're getting everything ready for you. Good. Get this off of my screen. Something got on there from the box. This might take several minutes. Don't turn off your PC. Okay. Because I don't want to keep you guys waiting on a video just to watch this screen, I'm going to pause this for a second. Again, subscribe to this channel. Hit up AskTheNerd.net, and we're going to be right back as soon as this leaves this screen. All right, it says it's almost there. And the next thing you see is the browser recommendation stuff. I don't really use Edge. I use um, Brave, but I'll just I'll leave this for now. Um, I'm going to put Inspirational, and then no, I'm not going to sign into Sync Data. Done. So I'm going to close this, and really, that's it. So I've got the guys set up. It looks really good. I cannot wait to jump on this. You're going to see it later on my gaming channel as well as anything I do tutorial-wise on Windows 10 will be on this machine. Thanks for tuning in to NerdCheek. We're so glad you're with us. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give us some love. Hit the comments and ask questions. And uh, stay with us. We love our friends out there. Y'all take care.